Hey, this is Teratoots with a quick tutorial on creating planetary rings in Terrigen 4. There are several different ways to achieve this effect in Terrigen. Today, I'm going to be covering a pretty straightforward approach using a rock population and a couple of image masks. We'll start out with a slightly modified version of the gas giant preset that comes with Terrigen. Here, I've just changed up the colors a bit and turned off some of the atmospheric effects for faster rendering. The first thing we're going to do is create a large invisible plane for our rocks to sit on. Do this by going to the Objects panel, Add Object, Displaceable Object, Plane. We'll move this to the planet's center by copying the planet's coordinates and pasting them into the plane's coordinates. Next, we need to make it huge enough that we're going to have to use scientific notation for the size. I'll do 5e to the 7 in each direction. We also need to set the render mode to invisible so the plane itself doesn't show up in the render. Next, we'll create a population of Terrigen's built-in rock objects with add object, population, rock. We'll change the area to be the same size as the plane. And because this is an orbital view, we'll need to make the rocks very large and spaced very far apart to get a reasonable number of them. Let's set the spacing to 10,000 in X and Y. And we'll set the scale to 10,000 as well. To get the rocks to populate on our plane, come to Anchor, sit on Object, and select our plane. Now if we were to populate now, we'd end up with a large square of rocks, which isn't what we want. To make this look more like rings, I'm going to use a couple of images based on pictures of Saturn's rings. The first will be a mask for the placement of the rocks, and the second will control their color. To apply the mask, we'll come to our rock population, click Use Density Shader, and create a new image map shader with our mask image. We'll select the image map shader, choose Position Center, and we'll set the size to 4e to the 7. If we populate the rocks now, we should get a nice ring shape. To color the rocks, we're going to use the Tint Diffuse Color function of the population and create a new image map using our color image. We'll come into the image map, position center once more, and set this to the same size as the mask. And now we should have some pretty good ring colors on the rocks. For a final touch, we can add a large scale power fractal as an additional mask on top of our image mask to give some variation across the rings. I'm going to set this to a lead-in of 5e to the 7 with a feature scale of 5e to the 6 and a smallest scale of 1e to the 6. And we'll plug this into the mask shader input of our image map shader. Now we can come to the render tab, boost the resolution, crank up the anti-aliasing, and render away. The settings we've used here, the ring is a little coarse, but if you want it finer, you can reduce the rock size and spacing at the cost of more render time. And there you have it, planetary rings for your next spacing.